Hey, fourth grade, you are with Miss Floyd today. Um, we just came back from a holiday weekend. So I just want to tell you that I hope you all had a wonderful few days off. Whatever you did with your three days, if you ate so much good food, if you slept in late, if you played video games all day, if you played outside all day, whatever you did, I hope you all had a great, great break. Um, on Thursday or Friday of last week, uh, you all were, were with Miss Hutchins and you all talked about the exposition of a story. So when talking about the exposition, you all were supposed to give background information of your story, which tells us something about the plot or characters of the story. This is where you introduce the characters, the setting. Um, this is also where you um, kind of introduce the problem that the main character have, you, has. You give a little insight about what problems they may face. If you remember from the, last week with Miss Hutchins, you all were learning about the fourth grade story of a million dollars, where we learned that our main character won a million dollars. Kind of in a struggle right now. Do, does he want to treat everybody? Does he want to be responsible with it? But through this passage, we learn that they are going to buy a brand new car. So to, since we have our exposition done, now we have to start focusing on our rising actions. If you say, Miss Lloyd, I have no idea what a rising action is. That's okay. We're going to talk about it. So when you do a rising action, this is the part of the story where you refer to events in the story that occur after the problem is introduced and lead up to the climax. So this is all of the little parts of the story that's leading up to the very big part of the story. So as you're writing today, when you write the rising action, remember to include one or some of the following. Um, remember, think about events that build tension between the characters. Include a series or of problems or challenges that the character may face. You can also provide clues or give foreshadowing to what may happen later in the story. So here is an example of a million dollars rising action. My new ride felt amazing. I found, found a 2020 Cadillac Escalade in pearl white. This was my dream car, and now it has become a reality. Now it was time to start planning on what I would do with the rest of my money. News started to spread quickly. I was getting so many calls, I could hardly keep up with them. Friends from high school, from college, and family sent so much love and joy to me for the big win. People I hadn't talked to in years were calling to congratulate me. It made it all seem even more surreal. Some of my friends suggested I should throw a big party and invite everyone I knew to celebrate the occasion. With my new ride, I thought that was the best way to celebrate. Everyone else in my life and show the appreciation I had for all of them. The planning began. I started with everyone I could possibly think of for my guest list and started searching for a venue to fit us all. I had managed to create a list of close to 600 people, which seemed like a lot, but hey, I'm a millionaire. So in our rising action, one of the main, one of the new challenges that our main character faces is he wants to throw a party and not just any party, a huge extravagant party for 600 people. We already know he has a million dollars, but what do you think is going to happen later on in our story? This is giving Miss Floyd a little bit of foreshadowing to what could happen later. I'm thinking in my head, I wonder if he's going to run out of money. I wonder if this party is going to be so expensive he can't afford it. So this is the rising action that we need to be thinking of. Today, what you all need to do is you all need to complete the rising action of your story. And again, remember some things that you need to include. Events that build tension between the characters. Include a series of problems or challenges that the main character may face. 
give any clues or foreshadowing to what may happen later in the story. If you need help, any help at all, please let your teacher know. Good luck.